my journey in studying in the States, I have discovered things about myself. I remember from day one that education was key. I remember being told from a very young age that you must study, you must achieve. If I make a video that changes the world, then maybe I'll take that. When you are exposed to those kind of ideas, it enriches your way of thinking. And you're able to come back to your country and give back a lot more. Definitely, studying in the U.S. in general gave me a great opportunity to grow and to transform as a person. I want to feel like I'm changing the world in some essence. There are moments where, you know, where you question every single thing that you've done. Is this the right decision? What does this mean to me? So my experience in the U.S., you know, just to sum it up, was it was the most transformational period of my life. I had trouble learning in school. I had my own way of learning, which only one of my teachers actually understood. She was my psychology professor. So they actually just let me do whatever I wanted to do in class. So when I graduated, I decided I want to understand people and, and I want to do that too. Personally, I had a family. I had my wife and my little kid when we went to the U.S. So it was not an easy and I took my family all the way together with me on the kind of first day. Well, the experience was long. I spent 15 years in the United States. I went to America. There are a lot of things I didn't know. Uh, a lot of cultures I didn't know, a lot of uh, um, inside things I didn't know. And so to be exposed to all these different things, super important. Any Emirati who has lived um, their life in the UAE, you need to get exposure to different ways of thinking. Your experience in the US will really be shaped by what university you pick, what state or city you decide to be in. I think before going to the States, uh, one of the things that I was thinking about was how I was thinking that, oh, maybe we're losing our identity. A lot of things are changing, the UAE, and they're changing so fast. And then I came to a realization that actually, if a culture is not changing, then that there is a problem because the culture is constantly, needs to constantly evolve because of so many different factors. I was lucky enough to get my scholarship uh, and travel to the States. I uh, was looking for the best schools in psychology and found that the University of Oregon was one of the top 10 schools. I was lucky enough to get in to the program and that's where my journey started. My experience at Stanford University shaped who I am as a person that really pushed you to explore who you are, but also explore the world around you in a way that was much deeper than uh, I could have imagined. On a personal level, uh, especially since I was in Boston, Boston is one big utopia where you had smart people everywhere, supportive people everywhere, people that you could bounce ideas of and you could grow. I always felt at home in Boston. It's not only about the education that you get, but it's about this, these kind of life-changing experiences and moments of reflection that you get uh, that I think is super important to have. You know, transformational periods was like marriage, uh, having kids, and studying in the U.S. For sure. When I first went to study abroad in the, in the U.S. at Stanford University, actually a lot of people um, in our social circle were worried. So they would actually go to my dad and say, are you sure you want to send her to the U.S.? It's so far away. She's so young. So trying to find uh, like a convenient place to live, trying to, uh, to, to know the, the, uh, like the different um, simple stuff like uh, getting a driver license, where to get your grocery from. I suppose after 15 years of being away, it was very difficult. It was fulfilling, but it was also very difficult. I don't want anyone to be under the notion that it's all fun and games. It, it is difficult. You have to understand that 
Challenges are everywhere. For me, being in the US, Stanford specific, that school broke me down. It put me in situations where I had not a clue what was going on. I had not a clue what to do, but one thing was for sure, that I had to figure it out or else I was gonna fail. It was a learning experience. So I went to the US not knowing even how to do laundry. Uh, so being responsible about your own time, uh, doing laundry, um, managing your expenses and finances. I was scared going there. Being a Muslim hijabi girl, I was scared and intimidated. I thought that I had to just change who I am to fit in fine in the States. The challenge for me was being at Harvard and initially having a little freak out moment where I was like, oh my God, this is the top university in the world. How am I gonna pass? What am I gonna do? Academically, I was worried. Where you're in situations where you're dealt with problems that you might not know what to do in that very moment, but you know that you have to figure it out. And that is the greatest strength that I've had in terms of being a father, a husband, a video creator, an employee when I came back for a short period of time, no matter what. So it's been an incredible blessing for me. Being the way I am and like wearing my hijab and going there and talking to people, surprisingly, people actually respected that and they admired the fact that I was actually holding on to it even though I wasn't in my country. People sometimes don't see past what you're wearing but it was not for everyone there. And I think coming back here, you bring a lot of these experiences with you and it changes you uh, in a very positive way. You know, sometimes I think we think too much about bringing back something, but it's not about bringing back, it's about building things. In the end, you really grow and you really understand and realize that this is part of the process. It's about growing, becoming more independent, becoming a real adult. You get over it. You get over it pretty fast in um, the first couple of months because the American education system is very good at building your confidence up. It was focused heavily on interaction and discussions and engagement. Yes, there were challenges, but um, there, you overcome them quite quickly in that kind of setting. We're a country that's dynamically changing. You know, we've been blessed with a very progressive leadership that truly want the best for this country. To do that, you have to open up to the world. You have to open up to talent. You have to open up to organizations, welcome them in to help make this country the best that it can be. It was really important for me to um, be useful to the UAE, to my city, to my country, to my people. So when I came back, I, I discovered there was actually a lot to do. Um, and thanks to our great leadership, they gave me the opportunity to do it. Um, first of all, with opening my own company that uh, is a medical equipment company, um, I was able to really uh, be useful. The support that I had there, the people that I met at Lane 5 CrossFit at the University of Oregon Rec Center, they were so amazingly supportive. They made me love what I do. So I decided to uh, become a coach. I want to be that person that people will say, because of her, I am here today. So I started to teach Olympic weightlifting for women only. I wanted to be one of the girls who will give back to the UAE. I spent some of the best time of my academic life um, and came back with such an enriched understanding of government challenges. When I went to Stanford University, I became uh, so interested in being involved in organizations and student groups that brought the community together. And I think that really continued throughout my work uh, coming back to the UAE, I felt would add value to others. So for, for my work here at the Special Olympic World Games, it's really about empowering them, about giving them opportunities to become active citizens. It was important for me to introduce Arabic design into the classroom, to think about Arabic typography, think about uh, bilingual branding, bilingual graphic design in general. So I started to do that, and then eventually I joined the American University of Sharjah as a full-time faculty uh, in 2014, uh, where I continue to do that. And a lot of my research revolved around graphic design that is related to this part of the world. One of the things that inspired me a lot to apply to Stanford Business School 
is a code that is engraved on the cornerstone of this of the school, which says dedicated for the thing that yet to happen and the, the people who are about to dream them up. If anyone was going to the States and find their journey there, one advice would be is that you're the, the creator of your own journey. Go, because in your heart, you want the best. Don't even think uh, twice about it. So it really depends on what you want. The UAE embassy was very supportive. The school was very supportive. As an Emirati, you can benefit your country so much more. I'm all for them going to the States. It really is, uh, it's an adventure.